So, this path was shaking down here, which presumably caused a thing to happen. Um, oh, we, we say it to him, I guess? I guess, without even trying. It's like, look, man, I just I just pressed a button. I saw a button. I pushed it. it had nothing to do with you. Oh, he's, he's dead. That's yeah. kind of weird. That's, yeah. Everyone is, like, so interested in our clothes. Like, <laughs> it's it's not even that unique. It's like, we're wearing a white hood. I mean, yeah, yeah. it's it's a little weird because it's not that practical, but... Is that strange or anything? I didn't think so. You need me to press a button, too. Oh, we must get you out of that cell. Oh, you know, you don't have a lot, a whole lot of marketing power, dude. Yeah, we'll, we'll be the judge of what we need to do for you. Okay, see, there's a room where that light thing probably be more useful. Yep, definitely used that before. I should have. So now, if there's one thing we've learned about this. That I should go the other way. <laughs> it's to completely avoid her. <laughs> oh man, the broken bell. That's even what? worse. What? What kind of monster would do that? I don't know, but that's just wrong. What? Curse! She followed me. What is happening here? <laughs> wow, everything that just happened in this room. It's such a troll. Yeah, what a disaster in the room. No, there's more enemies. Kind of enemy rush situation. It makes me wonder if, like, are you supposed to guess, you know, sort of stick it out to unlock the bell then? Yeah, maybe. Unless these bats are just spawning whenever they feel like it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see a way to fix this bell. Oh, well, it's not that far away from the other one. Alright, so kill You're her. Kind of decent shape right now anyway, so... Yeah. Super worrisome going on. Do I want to go this way? Let's try the other way. I'm not sure you can jump that high even underwater. I can, the I water can reflections are weird in this game. They are pretty, but weird. No, I can jump all I want. Oh, okay, so it's like you get to fly. Uh, swimming and flying are basically the same thing. I mean, yeah, basically. It's like, when you think about it, if you're a crab, would you think of fish as being like birds? I guess it's not so different, is it, from a crab's perspective? I mean, when you think about it, we're basically the land version of crabs. We are. The main difference is that we never figured out how to walk on the sea floor, whereas crabs can walk on land. Well, unless we're Momodora, then we can just do either one. <laughs> That's true. She floats exactly as much as she feels like. That was not fun. A key. Oh, we got a key. Very nice. Who knew that there were keys in this game? You know, I'm really digging the background of this, this section floating chairs. Yeah, I love, like, the floating furniture, yeah, and stuff like that. I guess it gives it really kind of surreal. Yeah. Like, what happened to this room? Right. What, the story here. Probably some evil queen sank it because she's just in kind of a bad mood. Yeah, it does sound like an evil queen thing to do. I was, I was doing stuff like that. Some princess didn't show her the proper respect, so she flooded a friggin' library. I think you had to find out the ability to crawl because there's something down there you couldn't reach. Yeah, there, there's a lot of those. So they get a special item that teaches her how to, you know, get on her hands and knees. Like, oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> I never thought of that. Like, you know, I, I can understand, you know, Samus has her excuse. She needs a morph ball because she's in this huge metal suit. So crawling may be impractical in that suit. Yeah, it, it but, might not have the proper joints. Yeah, and Momodora, she doesn't have an excuse. No, she's just a scantily clad priestess. Not even that scantily clad, although her knees are showing, which is scandalous. True, that is true. 
But I mean, she's in a 2D game, so it's not like we're going to see anything if she's crawling. So it's not like we're playing the Ocarina of Time where Link is crawling in first person. Or well, third person, but we're right behind him. With uh, those short shorts he wears, you better be crawling in first person. Oh man, I'm having so much decision paralysis. Yeah, I know. I think that's just a way to get back, though. Yeah, nothing, nothing exciting here. Maybe I missed something. It seems like I must have. Whatever, moving on. Okay, that air dash is a lot more dangerous than I'm giving it credit for. So I go yeah, it's kind of hard to stick the landing with it. Yeah. Good, I actually need the air dash, air dash to progress. I did, it yeah, I did a thing up there. Okay. Well, that makes you feel bad killing those characters, because it's not like they actually do anything. They just sort of stand there, minding their own business, and then... Sure, but... Straight up go and murder them. But after I kill them, they throw those lamps at me. And, you know... Preemptive strike. Can't have yeah, people there. who are willing to take some parting shot at me as I they die. I mean, when you think about a game like the original Super Mario yeah. Brothers, like who was a real aggressor? Was it the Goomba or was it Mario? I mean, if you think about it, the Goomba is looking forward. He can't see where he's going. Oh, we found a boss. Yeah, the Goomba didn't even have a choice. All the Goomba can do is walk. And Mario, he has the ability to jump on the Goomba, oh, ooh, or, whoa, oh. what the hell? That was... Or he could jump on the Goomba. Yes. Wow, we lost a lot of progress there. Sure did. Is there something this way? What kind of irresponsible gamer would have gone all the way over here and all the way back without even stopping to save? Oh, the kind that didn't do that. Yeah, I know, I know who you're talking about. You're not underwater anymore. I'm not. That's okay. Yeah. And then, I mean, the, from that point on, the game was just all about escalation. I mean, Mario made the first blow, and now everyone else is just, you know, getting revenge. For something like 30 years. It's revenge upon revenge upon Nothing revenge. in this room, huh? Really, really not finding anything. It's like Hatfields and McCoys. One guy insulted another dude's jacket. Next thing you know, pigs are being stolen, children murdered. Koopa squashed. Koopa squashed. So last time I went up, going left is not an option. Unless I can trick this guy into bombing the wall for me. Oh, yeah. Well, he bombed me pretty well. So he did. Yeah, it worked. Wow, nice. It's always nice when the game has a forethought to let the uh, enemies do environmental damage for you. I do love that. There are some, some I, cases of that in Dark Souls that are... You weren't going to see what's for sale? It's the same shop guy. Oh, I thought we... Yeah, yeah that was a loop. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had the light thing and something that cost 700 that I can't afford anyway. Okay, gotcha. Okay, time to bash my head against the boss again. Almost. One more room. Derelict Friday. Friday, Friday, the Pharisees on Friday. 
Mama Dorothy is like, oh, thank God, it's Friday. Okay. So I need to lasers. Yeah, so he's got the pack and then the lasers. But he has to tell for the lasers. So if I just crouch, use the uh, Zelda 2 final boss strategy on this guy. Yeah, basically. I mean, he is slowly moving towards you, so... Yeah, I'll have to move eventually. I think they get different attacks when their health gets low enough. Right. But if he just keeps this up... Oh, boy. He's got wolves. No worries. I tell you what, if you could get that uh, arrow upgraded, you could just... Yeah, it's fair through the any bosses. enemy in this game. Yeah, it's a little unfair to have a bow and arrow in a predominantly melee Metroidvania. Yeah, I know. But man, this sure is trivializing some boss fights. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's like, wow, come on, I can't believe they don't have a better counter for that. Yeah. Duck and shoot. That was a surprisingly charming tough throw. All right, we will uh, continue this next time after we go to sleep. After yeah, Momodora she, goes to sleep. She is a sleepy girl. That boss took a lot out of her. Good night. Good night. <laughs>